Where are we going, Lib? Come on! Are you excited? Yes. Yay! All right, so we just got our wristbands right here. Woo! And we're going up into the Hall East entrance here. And look, it's a giant dragon thing. Should be pretty cool. So excited! All right, Lib. What are we looking for here? Alright guys, so I'm super excited. I brought my Star Trek Attack Wing Uhura card and it looks like Michelle Nichols is right here. I'm gonna get it signed. It's gonna be great. So it's actually one of my goals to get all of the cards that I can sign of the uh, you know the Star Trek cast of the ships that I have. So it's gonna be super cool. Alright, so I did manage to get the card signed. Look at that. Woo! It's beautiful. I wanted to be able to record her signing it, but they had a, uh, a strict no photos at the booth thing, so I couldn't. But super cool, got it signed, one step closer, first step of getting them all signed. Oh, I'm so happy!
All right, so uh, we have been here for about two hours or so. And we've gotten a few things, some uh, pictures and uh, game and some uh, baggage here. So we'll, uh, oh, look at that. Ooh. Yep, so we will uh, go ahead and look over all the stuff that we got and some of the stuff that we saw once we get back. So some, some cosplays here. Yep, okay, just talk to you later. All right, so we're back in the car. We're just leaving the Tampa Comic Con thing. How do you feel, Lib? Tired. It was very warm and rainy. I don't know if you can see. It is warm There's and, spots back and there. rainy. Yeah. So. And buggy. It was fun though. Yeah. So we stayed for about two hours yeah. from 12 to 2 ish. It's actually 2:07 right now, and we got a few things. We'll open up when we get back to the house so we can show you. And uh, there wasn't really anybody there that we wanted to see, but we did get to see Ahura and then get her to sign the Star Trek card, which is awesome. A lot of good artists there as well. Yeah, so we'll be back in a bit, just a second. All right, so we are back in the house now. Uh, this is Libby, if uh, anybody doesn't know her. <laughs> this is my wife. So we just got back from Comic-Con and figured we'd just go over what stuff we brought back so that we can uh, show that stuff off. I already showed you a little earlier this card that was signed by the actress who played Ahura in the original Star Trek series. Check that out. It's beautiful. Yep, I thought that was great. I thought it was really <laughs> funny though because I didn't explain it earlier. Whenever I handed it to her and asked her to sign it, she was very skeptical because she didn't <laughs> know what it was. And I don't know if they've been briefed not to sign things that don't ha or you know that have like writing on them. Because right. I was like, hey, can you? And she's pretty old. It's funny. I was like, hey, can you sign this for me? And she's like, well, that depends what it is. And then she takes it, and then she read it for, like, two minutes. And it's like, you know, it's a game card from Star Trek Attack Wing. Uh, so it just, you know, has a game effect on it. But it was just really funny. And then the person who was with her was like, oh, what game's that from? Like, it was just funny. Yeah. <laughs> like, instead of just a picture, I guess, that people would usually give her. Um, but, yeah, it was like 40 bucks to get the autograph. I was super excited. That's the first Star Trek one that I've gotten. I've been waiting for, like, crew members to kind of come through our local conventions. Um, but yeah, this is the first one that we went to other than Megacon. Well, well, we went to Metrocon a few years ago, but it, it was very small in comparison to Comic-Con. It probably took us about 10 minutes to, to walk through the entire convention. This one was much bigger. It took quite much, you know, longer to go through everything, but it was really neat. Definitely not anywhere near the size of Megacon is. If any of you guys have ever been to it, Megacon's huge here in our Orlando, Florida. Megacon's gotten a lot bigger over the past yeah. few years, too. I'd say the first time, or first and second time or so, we went to Megacon, it was about the same size as what we just saw. Mm -hmm. But it's expanded every year. Yeah, so. now it, it, well, there's just a lot of people there. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of bigger names you see come come through here now, too. I think it's the biggest in Florida for that type of convention. Yeah. So it's usually around January, though. Or, not January, but earlier in the year. Yeah. Kind of missed it this year. But there weren't really any... Uh, big name people or anything other than Ahura. They also had somebody from Smallville and uh, one of the like super secondary characters from the recent re episodes of uh, The Walking Dead. And then uh, cosplayers, there were two. There was a guy who looks just like Rick from The Walking Dead and he calls himself Cecil Grimes, I think. And then Jessica Negri, the cosplayer. The boobs. Cosplayer. <laughs> boobs were there. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so the other things that we got here, I'm super excited about this. It is a picture of, uh, oh, like it's a painted picture. My God, I can't get a glare there. Uh, a painted picture of Captain Cold, played by my favorite actor, Wentworth Miller. If you ever watch this, Wentworth Miller, I love you. <laughs> and you need to come to a local event so I can get your autograph and a picture of me hugging you. And then the other picture, and these are just both in one plastic sleeve, so it's two separate pictures, but uh, Dominic Purcell playing Heat Wave. So I could put these two on the wall behind me for later podcasts and stuff. That'll be super cool. Uh, and then one other thing before we get to some opening packages. Uh, we were solicited by someone at a booth to look into this, it's called Pawns, Pawns, whatever. Probably Pawns. Uh, a game of strategic mayhem it is a uh, tabletop game. It's like a you know board game. Uh, that was funded on Kickstarter, 
and it looked pretty cool from what he was describing. Literally, the guy pitched it to me, and I was like, sure, I'll take one, because, uh, you know, I was talking about before, I had tried to put a, a tabletop game on Kickstarter like two years ago, so this guy's like living my dream, he, and, and it was the last day, today's Sunday, uh, at, Com at Comic-Con, and they still had like a big old stack of things to sell, so it didn't look like they'd been too successful, but who knows. And then with that, since we bought it there, we got convention exclusive cards uh, that add to the game, and then a free expansion pack, so that was pretty cool. Uh, we're probably going to do a review on this one a little later. We could play it first and then and tell you how it is. <laughs> and then Libby, you want to show them what you got here? So, I got a companion cube. Woo! And it's openable. So it, it was pretty much what they had going on there is they had a bunch of grab bags. Um, bags. A lot of the booths had them, but they had all these different types you could get. You could get ones that look like old Game Boys, these Rubik's Cubes, but they all had different like levels of, oh, what can you get in here? This one's going to be all the Funko Pop stuff, or it's going to be convention things, or horror games, or whatever. I just got the general one that had um, Comic-Con stuff rolled up in here. There's supposed to be six Comic-Con items kind of wrapped up in this little companion cube here. So we'll get to take yeah. a look at it. So it's like a random thing. And I took a picture of the booth, so you should have seen that earlier. Um, and I'll, I'll put one in here now, I guess. But there are a whole bunch of different themes and stuff. I got a Star Trek messenger bag full of set 8 to 12 Star Trek themed things. So we don't know what are in these things. And this was $90, that was like 30 and it said that there was a, I think the $30 one had like a $50 value or something. This one was uh, 90 because it also had the bag and had a $120 value. So we'll see what's inside. I love this bag. That's so cool. It's a, and yeah, I love that. NCC 1701, so it looks like the whole of the Enterprise and it's got little buffaloes and stuff, so. Which is good, so All right. we'll be able to use it for things. You want to go ahead and kick us off, start looking through your stuff? Sure. I really enjoy opening things. Just, just saying. It's very true. Yeah. It's kind of a problem for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what I got. Okay, so here, I'm going to move this off the side and we'll just pull it out of the box. How about that? All right, first thing is called a puzzle cube. It's called a gamer puzzle cube, so it sounds like it's going to be like a Rubik's cube. Or... You want to hold the box up? Oh, yeah, sorry. Right there, yeah. puzzle cube. Hmm. So. <laughs> I need manly assistance. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm the right. I was going to rip it. Resistance. You know how no, it's like the yeah, little. I'll open it to the bottom. Do it. Man, it's, it's no. like it's like wedged shut. I like well, to have to rip it. No. You know what I mean? No, well, I hate the sound. Almost. Huh. You got it. Oh, no. got it. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> it's a Rubik's cube, and it looks like a companion cube. Oh, it's so cute. I like it. That's pretty great. I'm gonna set that so you guys can see it. That's Come neat. On. Oh, it's adorable. I love it. I like that. When I get a cubicle again at work, I'm going to put it in my cubicle. Emphasis on cube. Cubicle. Yeah. Okay. There's also Wondrous Mystery Box of Splendor. So mm. <laughs> it's a, a mystery box within a mystery box. Huh. So I wonder what's in there. I don't know. I'm telling y'all, cardboard is not my friend. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. Okay. Look at that. Oh, that's neat. I am a big Mario fan, so this actually makes me really happy. Check this out. Oh man, there is super amounts of glare right now. So here, let me spin it. Oh, look at that, look at that. Yoshi. It's a cup with a bunch of Nintendo yeah, characters Yeah, that's on. so cool. I like that a lot. Okay, yeah. so far so good. I'm pleased. I was so worried about getting this too. That it was just be full just, of crap. Yeah, junk. I'm like, just yeah. my luck, it would be a bunch of junk. There's just a big item in here. I'm, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead grab it. No, yeah, let's do all this first. So there's a couple totes, which is funny because I've been looking for reusable bags recently. We couldn't find any around the house. Ah, uh, blink, don't blink, blink and you're dead. Cool. So it's a bunch of Doctor Who one there. Yeah, Doctor Who, the, what are those things called? Stone Angels or something? Uh, the Weeping, yeah. weeping Angels. All right. Oh, <laughs> this is called, just, just for the bag for you guys out there, weirder stuff, stranger things. <laughs> 
So that's pretty funny. I like that. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> the hat that. Oh, what's his face first? Who? The guy, the kid that has the muscle oh, teeth. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> I think I got a statue. Fulgore? Killer Cannot. Instinct. Killer Instinct. Okay, so some of y'all might appreciate yeah, this a little bit more. Yeah, that's the monster fighting game. So I don't really know much about it, personally. That's cool. But let's pull it out of its box and we'll take a look. It's like a statue. Yeah, it's a statue. You. This box, when picking it up, it did not feel heavy at all. So I'm like, oh, there's probably not some good. A little bit worried there. I was like, there might not be very good things in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it has a bunch of little things there. So like little... Highly detailed collectible figure. Neat. Okay, so, so far so good. I wonder how much these things usually run for. I don't know. She said she grabbed a bigger one. So the box she gave me was bigger than the normal... Um, oops. It also comes with a, an exclusive unlockable in-game color for, for, for the character folder. Okay. So... Yeah, look at him. He's neat. Is he an action figure? Yeah, he totally is. He has pivot points and everything. Check this what? out. What? So, you guys might be getting a review of this from Jimmy. For sure. <laughs> Look at this. You'll see him. He has, like, all these different points of articulation. So, his, like, knee moves... Is, it doesn't look like his ankle does. He'll but... do a review for it right now. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just saying. His head. His head's a little bit pivotal. Um, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, his torso moves, too. Neat. I really like that. Yeah, that's super cool. And then he has the plate for him to stand on. So, super cool. It's yeah. a good display thing. He also looks like he came with some weapons that fit into his hands, like claws and stuff. I don't and know anything about this character. More things. There is a button that says, I heart lamp. This is probably from some sort of fandom I'm not aware of. I'm not sure what that's for. And a little coin box wallet. What's in here? From Mario. Mario. Is it like a men's wallet? Oh, legit, it is. How about that? That's kind of cool. It feels like it's made out of paper. Yeah, it looks like paper. So, and it has all the pockets. Yeah, if you guys can see it. That's kind of neat. Cool. Let me see. Yeah, it feels like it's made out of paper. Yeah, it feels like recycled um, Material, plastic yeah. or something. Lightweight, durable wallet. It doesn't seem like it would be durable. It feels like the thing you'd, like... Normally $15. It feels like a thin raincoat. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's weird. Yeah, it looks like that is it for my companion cube box. I am pleasantly surprised and pleased. Do you like Very it? Cool. Yeah, I do. Cool. All right, well, now we'll go ahead and move to this Star Trek messenger bag full of things. We actually have to undo the clips here to get it open and then get, get looking. Get looked on. Get looked what? on. Okay. What? I don't know. All right, first thing is a small lunchbox thing <laughs> with. Wharf on it, and it says, Today is a good day to die with his Klingon sword weapon thing that I don't remember what they're called. I feel like there's something inside because it's like saran wrapped. Nope, yep, it's empty. <laughs> so you can <laughs> just put this. things in it, I guess. It's like a very small lunchbox, tiny tins. I wonder what your application for that is. Like, <laughs> okay. And then. Another tiny lunchbox with Sulu looking very stoic. <laughs> All right. So, Liv, we each have a lunchbox now to carry around very small items. Oh, jeez. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a coin purse. Just a second. Let's get the plastic out of this one. More like a dice bag. So it's gonna Could be a dice thing. bag. So, this is definitely a coin purse. Yeah. So, you know, it's science officer here. You can tell by that beautiful blue. Looks like it's based off the original series outfit. And it's got a zipper on top. Let's see if it's got just one pocket here. Yeah, so, you know, zipper on top, a little case on the front, and then you also have a zipper on the back for a smaller pocket. Anything in there? Nope. Looks like we can hold some keys. So that's neat. Whoop. Whoop. All right, and then 
<laughs> We've got cute. a little Star Trek ugly doll. <laughs> Ice bat as Scotty. So that's neat. He's a kind little keychain. Yeah. He's pretty ugly. <laughs> yes, he is ugly. They got that right. Oh, it's so soft though. I got a Star Star Trek bow tie with little Star Trek insignias all over it. That's pretty neat. And then a 50 anniver 50th anniversary collectible pin. And it looks like it is like a random bag, so you don't know what is inside. I hope it's the Enterprise. It is a phaser pistol. Here it is. A tiny collectible phaser pistol. It's beautiful. It's a little metal pin. That's yeah, cool. That's good quality. Yeah. That's nice. And then we've got a... <laughs> A Boingler <laughs> dashboard accessory. I like that. <laughs> so it is the Enterprise on a spring that you attach to your uh, dashboard. You can barely see that in that picture. But yeah, it's Enterprise, and then it's got like a base that you could put it on. I guess while you drive around, it'll wing around like a one of those um, dancing wing, 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 wing. chicks. Uh, these are not the toys you were looking for. This looks like this That's is... That's just an ad thing yeah. I added in my box, too. And it has a discount code on it. Starfleet personnel only. This will probably also go on the wall. There, there <laughs> it is. Uh, it's in like a saran, you know, like a plastic container. So that's why it's so shiny right now. All right, and then we've got a is that blanket or a towel? A blank towel. A blank blank towel. towel. A blowel. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That looks like it's, uh, it feels like a towel. It's a it's towel. It's probably a towel. Like a beach towel. Yeah. Let's see what beautiful image they've got in store for us, Lib. <laughs> what is it? What is that? What is it? <laughs> it is the Enterprise. <laughs> That's great. Oh, is there something on the bottom? To boldly go. To boldly go. go. I love it. <laughs> It's beautiful. I think this is my favorite part. You can wear it as a cape now. My Star Trek cape. Mm. And then the inside of this uh, bag too, it's blue and it says Star Trek all over it, which is pretty great. Um, so if I ever go to a Star Trek attack wing event for the game, I'll probably put all my figures in here, transport them around in little bead cases or something. All right, well, I think Comic-Con was pretty fun. Did you have fun, Lib? Yeah, I did. There's a whole lot of walking. My legs are kind of sore, even though yeah. it's two hours. I'm just a lightweight. We hit 6,000 steps in under two hours. And I'm <laughs> sure to many of you that sounds like we're just wussing out. But. In our city, there is no walking. It's driving everywhere you go, so we don't and walk And we have too desk much. jobs, so we're just <laughs> we're, we're true Americans. <laughs> All right, so thank you very much for watching, and... Uh, if another convention rolls through town, we'll be sure to go, especially if Wentworth Miller is there. All right, well, we'll catch you later. <laughs> Bye.